the Watchtower of July 15, 2008. The House to House Ministry. All study articles in this Watchtower deal directly with House to House Ministry or other methods Jehovah's Witnesses use to recruit members. You've likely met the witnesses in these ways. We witness in marketplaces, on street corners, and in other public areas. We contact many by telephone and by letter. Our principal way of spreading the good news is by preaching from house to house. This video series gives you direct questions for Jehovah's Witnesses that will reveal dangerous inconsistencies, mind control practices, and questionable beliefs. Questions that Witnesses rarely ask themselves. And if you just don't want to be bothered, the little-known ways to keep Witnesses away from your door completely. Witnesses are instructed to avoid arguments at the door, so make sure you remain respectful and interested in them. Just use the same tactics witnesses have been using on you. If a person sees the truth about God's purposes, he can then begin to cast off false religious ideas and cleanse himself of unclean practices. It is good to emphasize things that will appeal to our listeners, starting with things we hold in common with them. It would be counterproductive to antagonize a person who, if approached tactfully, might listen to our message. Question 1. No blood. Witnesses are famous for their refusal to accept blood transfusions, even if it costs their life. The Watchtower proudly martyrs child victims of this policy by publishing stories of their deaths. Every witness carries a blood card that is used in emergency situations to stop blood transfusions. But, on the back of that form, a witness can opt to accept blood fractions, all the parts of blood. In a 2004 change of policy, minor blood fractions are now allowed. That depends on how you define minor. Hemoglobin is actually 97% of red blood cells, and all parts of blood plasma are permitted, but not plasma. It's as if the Watchtower banned the ham sandwich, but allows ham, bread, and all the fixins. Let's make it clear that these fractions are not available from any other source than human or animal blood. Confused? So are many witnesses. So here is your question. If you truly abstain from blood, how can you be a part of a religion that allows parts of blood from humans and animals? And the killer follow-up. Would you ever donate blood so that the fractions could save the life of another witness? Remember, the key to opening a Jehovah's Witness mind is not to argue about blood, but to show that the Watchtower violates its own principles. We firmly believe that God's law on blood is not open to reform, to fit shifting opinions. We must abstain from blood. Want to try this on a Jehovah's Witness? They are happy to come to your door. Simply go to the official site of Jehovah's Witnesses, Watchtower.org, and click on this link or phone your local congregation. Hi, I'd like to learn more about Jehovah's Witnesses. 